Now it's not easy to escape Earth's gravity. On June 25th, Shubhanshu Shukla became the second Indian to make it to space. He hitched a ride on SpaceX's spanking new Crew Dragon capsule on its maiden flight to the International Space Station. Here's the lowdown on Shukla's mission and the spacecraft that's taken him there. It's a big step for India and a bigger one for private space flight. On June 25th, SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule, tethered to the Falcon 9 rocket, took off from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The Axiom 4 mission took Shukla and three fellow astronauts on a 28-hour journey around the Earth. The spacecraft was piloted by Peggy Whitson, a former NASA astronaut who now represents American aerospace company Axiom Space. With Whitson at the helm, the spacecraft successfully docked at the International Space Station where they were welcomed aboard by seven other astronauts who are currently stationed at the ISS. Receiving great big hugs from Nicole Ayers and the Expedition the 73 crew. Axiom at Mission Space Station. Pilot Shibanshu Shukla is the next one to come across. Joining Whitson and Shukla on the 14-day mission are astronauts from Poland and Hungary. The capsule itself, Grace, has been very kind. I have been feeling, uh, I was not feeling very great when we, you know, got shot into the vacuum. But since yesterday, I've been told that I've been sleeping a lot, which is a good sign. <laughs> so I think that's a, that's a great sign. I'm, I'm getting used to this quite well, enjoying the views, enjoying the entire experience, or learning like a baby, you know, learning the new steps, learning how to walk, learning how to control yourself, everything, learning how to eat, I think. So it's a new environment, new challenge, and I'm really enjoying this experience with my uh, fellow astronauts here. The crew is conducting a total of 60 scientific experiments aboard the ISS, covering a wide range of futuristic research. Shukla will lead at least seven experiments exploring areas like muscle regeneration, plant biology, microalgae growth, and human-computer interaction in microgravity. One of the most groundbreaking studies in the Axiom 4 mission is expected to be the one that will focus on making space travel possible for diabetic people. On the uh, insulin in space, uh, or the research about uh, diabetes in space and opening up technologies that we might use for someone who might have di diabetes, uh, we're very excited about testing that on board. Um, and the, you know, and you may not know, but a, a person with diabetes can't fly in space because it's disqualifying. Uh, and not considered to be safe because we wouldn't know how their bodies would respond. And so if we have the appropriate technology to monitor the uh, individuals, uh, we feel that you know, we can open up that door and that path for a, a lot of folks uh, in the world and just open up space a little bit more. The spacecraft that carried the four-member crew into Earth's orbit is SpaceX's fifth and final capsule in the Crew Dragon fleet. Capsule C213, as it is officially known, has been named GRACE by the crew. GRACE is capable of performing all mission phases autonomously without any human intervention. This includes docking and undocking with the International Space Station, and that's made possible with the onboard flight computer that processes data from a suite of sensors to navigate and maneuver precisely in Earth's orbit. GRACE is equipped with 16 Draco thrusters for on-orbit maneuvering and altitude control. These smaller engines allow the capsule to make precise adjustments needed for orbital corrections for smooth docking with the ISS. The spacecraft also has an advanced suite of safety systems to ensure crew safety in emergency situations. If there's an issue with the launch rocket, GRACE's launch escape system gets activated. SpaceX has integrated eight powerful Super Draco engines directly into the capsule that can ignite in an instant to propel the capsule and its crew safely away from the Falcon 9 rocket. The capsule's cockpit is distinguished by clean, modern design. 
Three large touchscreen displays in the cabin provide the astronauts with real-time data on the craft's status, trajectory and onboard environment. GRACE is designed to withstand multiple trips to space and back. Its heat shield is designed for refurbishment. The capsule is equipped with two parachutes to stabilize the craft following re-entry and four main parachutes to further decelerate the craft prior to touchdown. Now, if Axiom 4 is any indication, the GRACE capsule will take many more astronauts into space on missions in the future. Privately operated space trips promise to make space exploration more accessible to countries who don't have independent space programs.